Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Republic, and we're going to go back to the Jedi today. Um, so I'm going to use that fast travel, which I've never used before. Turn to Ebon Hawk. And we are here. Oh, Mission wants to talk. Can I speak to Mission? Hey there, what can I do for you? I'm sorry for the way I acted before. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrors, but we got by okay, until Lena came and ruined everything. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. Yeah. I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. Maybe she actually uh, liked Griff. I saw Lena for what she really was. A busty, credit-grubbing cantina rat. She used Griff and took away the only family I had. After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were going to try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me. And we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. Uh, so? Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff but good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff again. Part of the reason I came with you was the hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nope. Okay. Have it your way. Yeah. The character... Uh, what are they called? Character stories. I want to, um... When we get back to the back, I want to go through everyone and just make sure their story is up to date. Because I want to I wanna do with the stories. I like that. The character stories, it's really good. Um, everything healed, good. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Sure. I think when you fell strong back, um, it heals everyone. Not entirely sure though. Right, let's go and talk to these people. Wait, was it or him? Let's talk to him because he's my trainer guy. You have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, Apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. Yay! You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our Order. I'm the best. Item is received. What do they get? Jedi robe. Oh my god, I'm a Jedi. It's the best. Look at me. Take them stupid things off, because I'm not an idiot. When you're a Jedi, you don't wear stupid headbands. Look at me, I'm a Jedi and everything. I'm gonna kill you all now! Let's talk to Bastard. If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. When do I get Bastard back? That's my question. I'm gonna talk to you, because you're cool. It is good to see Johnny has returned to the Way of the Light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. 
That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. Do I have to? Um, let's do this. Be sure to bring Bastila with you. There is a powerful link between you, and you will need to draw strength from each other during the trials ahead. Cool. Who do you want to take? Uh, cough. I demand justice. The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine. They must be punished. The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Matale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof. And we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals, if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised, Alan Matali, we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. Okay. If Shen Matali is not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. We must not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in the real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. Not to mention that I wouldn't mind getting out of this enclave for a bit. I mean, come on. How bad could it be? I mean, come on. How bad could it be? I'm here. Uh, what do you want? Strength would be good for you, Bastila. Um, awareness, probably. Does treat injury affect? I don't know when a med pack is used. No, I guess it doesn't then. Force shield, what have you got? You got sp speed, um, wound. Stun droid would be helpful. I don't want you wearing them stupid things either. I want you to look nice. Do you have a lightsaber? Double blade lightsaber. Project built. Mm. Bastila, you need some robes. Jedi robes. Seriously, go. Uh huh. Me. What? Let's do. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do. Okay. So we're going to the ruins. And I believe I know where they are. I believe we walked past them. Oh, it's Johanna. Let's talk to her. See how um, she is. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. I have spoken to the Council, and they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself, and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. Um. Quatra's methods may seem strange, but I trust her wisdom. This lesson has been difficult, but I am better because of it. Humility is never easy to teach, but now I truly understand my own limitations. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You. Back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy. And she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training. Though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. First the Jedi trick you into becoming an enemy, then they welcome you back as a friend. I can't say I approve of their training methods. This has been a painful lesson, Juhani. 
But it seems you have learned it well. I am certain you will be a credit to the Order. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. Cool. Beans. Um, she probably did die, and they just told her she didn't. Because she's not here at the moment. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's go this way. Who is John, anyway? I don't even know. That guy. I can't remember what he said. I've got the request up here, though. Ooh. Right. I believe... They better not respawn, but I guess they have. I wish they wouldn't respawn. It's annoying. Come in here and it'll be more to fight, right? Huh? Maybe not. Maybe they only respawn, not as... Yeah, so there's one there. Oh, ignore it. Ignore it. Walk around this way. Do not shoot it. Mm. Seriously, you do Madden. Two Jedi now, though. We're gonna own. Let me just do a heal job. Master does better healing me, though. Right? Uses sure. less force and does more healing. Yeah, this this is. I think this is the way. And walk past it. I hope this is the way. It looks all ruiny. They look like Easter Island. <laughs> you know, the, the heads on Easter Island. Strange ruins. Huh. This is very dark. They said they sent the Jedi, so I guess there's going to be a Jedi in here going to like, attack us and murder our faces. Or not. That sounds like the sand people. I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. <laughs> That's like the Zelka or something. Zelka. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect yeah. spoken on Manan. But why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? <laughs> You are like the one who came. It before. must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Why have you been here? A decade. Ten revolutions would take more oh. than twenty thousand years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly five thousand years older than the Republic itself. Uh, there must be some mistake. Starforge. I, I, she just said the same thing again. Obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. 
The Starforge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. In fact, it could be anything. Our vision was clear. We saw Revan and Malak speaking of the Starforge. I'm certain it is somehow connected to the Sith's sudden rise to power. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Uh. These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. The droid speaks so maybe they were the builders? <laughs> Maybe they were droids. Nemo! It cost him his life. Revan and Malak unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malak is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us. Okay, let's uh, look. Look for Nemo's body. Jedi Knight robe. Uh huh. You can auto level up. I don't care what you have. You're a, like a Jedi Master, right? So you can have that bastard. Look at you, all fancy and blue. Yes. Let's go and hit him. Oh no. Is this going to be annoying? Wait, bastard got a new power, didn't she? Stun droid. Improved flurry its face off. Not critical it. Yes. Oh, it's saved. <laughs> Wow, he's owning. Bastard, can you cure and then stun? No, 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 not that many stuns. Blimmin' hell. Yes. You cannot win. Stun it. The force fights with me. Um, let's do two cures. You stop flame for me, it's really rude. 
Oh, can you actually like do something? You cannot win. Gonna change Kaf's guns to um Ion Blaster. An eye off ion rifle. You asked for this. Um you need to use a med pack. What can I do? Oh no. Ready. It's terrible news. Let's go. You asked for this. I'm gonna win. Oh, come on, you can do this. Yes, girl, if you're the bestest ever. I love you. <laughs> sure. Okay. You're a bit ill now, aren't you? Ready? Can I not pick up your mic? Can I move? Nope. Yes. Apparently not. Yes. Ready. Half can though. Can oh god, they're in the way. Can you what can I do? Why sure. can I not walk with you? See, stuff like this it just it just annoys me. And uh -huh. let's talk to this then. Um. Press a button. Press many buttons. Kick the computer. Talk to the computer. Uh huh. Insert your data pad. Um. Retrieve your data pad. No, talk. Identify three primary life giving seed world Oceanic, Grassland, and. Oh no! A breaking life seal. I did it! Victory is mine. Sure. Cure. Come on. And one more. There you go. Yes. Let's do this. Wreckage. Ooh, some nice stuff. Okay, now we've just got one more over there. And then we can. The better we never join there. If there is, it'd be annoying. Because they're really tough, aren't they? <sighs> Why must they be in here? I don't see. And they're a bit difficult already, aren't they? They're a bit too difficult. Yes. I get saved. Gotcha. That hurt, I bet. Oh, stop saving yourself. This one doesn't seem to have a flamethrower, so it's alright. Oh, but I'm dying. Yes. Should probably use a med pack or two or three. You cannot win. That guy is such a dick. Stop doing that. What? Sonic. Ready. Calf, you're rubbish. Oh no. Calf, you can do this, mate. Oh no, he's coming over. Oh god, no. Come on, Kaf, you can do this. Yes, Kaf. Come 
Conk off. Oh my days. Come on. Stop it. That's not nice. Alright, come on. Blue Manek. Can you aim properly? This is painful to watch. Thank God for that. God, it's painful to yes. fucking watch, that was. Can you let me walk? No, apparently not. Can you not walk either? Sure. My character is incapable of Do you know how to walk? Can I walk now? No? Uh -huh. It's difficult walking, isn't what it? I know. It's a tough skill to learn. What? It is really not. How can I help? I don't care. Then I Did I not fix it? I Ready? Thought... Oh, I thought that would have fixed it, do you want to see? If I go into the menu and come back out. What? Uh okay guys, I'm gonna fix this and we'll be right back. Okay, there we go, it's fixed. Now let's talk to this computer. Talk. Insert datapad. Talk. Okay, the huge death giving. Desert. Volcanic. Barren. Aha! There you go. That's what you want. I'm here. Can you cure? You cure again. Okay. What? It's cool. Okay, so we're nearly done with this, I guess. It's through here and then... Oh! Okay. That was dramatic. What's through here? It's like a random room of nothing. <laughs> Something's happening. Oh, it's the thing! It's the thing! <laughs> that opened up. This is a, a map, some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves, but we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. I, I don't know, but Revan and Malik were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type, or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more, but I think this map might be the key to finding the Starforge, whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek, and Tatooine, and here's Manan. But there are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Starforge itself might be. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Starforge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Starforge, and some way to destroy it. That sounds like quite a supposition. What if you're wrong? What if I'm right? We can't ignore this. Finding the Starforge might very well be the key to defeating the Sith. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action. Though I suspect our task has only just begun. Okay. Nice. Let's do a quick heal. So this is it then. What, what is that exactly? This is uh, it for this episode then guys. Um, hope you enjoyed. Next episode we'll go back to the Jedi again. Talk to them. See what they want us to do. And then uh, we'll be on our way. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode.